What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise mode. We're not in a really good position right now. We have lost three straight in danger of losing four straight before our bye week. I played around with a little bit of settings, specifically the fatigue setting, and I think we're going to be okay. Offense, again, needs to play a lot better and I am hoping that we can play a lot better this time around. So with that being said, first we're going to go ahead and scout the opponent. We still got Mike Morris out, which is not the biggest lost in the world for us the Giants however have two kind of big hits for them so depth wise they have Gerard Davis who is out who is in the injury reserve and they have Deontay Banks their 78 overall cornerback who is out for one more week so maybe we can expose the secondary the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and look at is going to be their stats for their teams so if we look over the Giants I keep missing them we don't see a very big passing attack Daniel Jones only has three passing touchdowns one interception 550 rush or passing yards Saquon Barkley is having an okay season with uh, 259 yards three rushing touchdowns we're gonna focus again on the run they gotta beat us on the ground game receiving wise they have Darren Waller Paris Campbell and Isaiah Hodgins who each have over 100 receiving yards each of them with the receiving touchdown okay looking over their secondary I really want to try oh they got Carson Wentz at quarterback instead of Daniel Jones that is very interesting before we do anything else, I am 100% okay playing full pads, everybody. I really want them to gain a little bit of experience. And then from here, I don't know why we're going to contain the scramble. We're going to go ahead and try to beat the run and limit the short passes. If we can go ahead and do that, we should be okay. Daniel Jones doesn't have the best passer rating when it comes to the medium passes or deep passes. So I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get to them. For our offense, we're also going to go ahead and do full pads for everybody. And offensively, we're going to go ahead ahead and focus on I don't want to run it outside considering that they have Dexter Lawrence at defensive tackle we're gonna go ahead and throw it medium we're gonna try to get our passing game taken care of and actually what we're gonna do we're gonna throw it short the final thing that we're gonna go ahead and do here is set up our goals so for our head coach we're gonna set up so that we have no sacks we really want to keep Geno Smith clean and no pressures if we can limit the pressures we should be able to limit the uh interceptions that he has been throwing offensively i really do want to try to get 250 plus yards actually we're going to take it up a notch 300 yards we're going to control the ball and i know i say that every single video and considering that the offense are the ones that allow the 41 points to happen we're going to actually try to limit this giants offense to 24 points or less considering they're at the bottom of the barrel i mean so is our defense but really i think our numbers are inflated we want to get geno smith back on track so we're going to allow uh, not a lot. We're going to try to shoot to have him get two or more passing touchdowns. If we can do that, we have a pretty good game plan set up in, in place and we should be able to get a pretty good win. But looking over our standings as of right now, we are one of the worst teams in the league. We are the 32nd team in the league and we are the only team in the NFC who have zero wins. Dexter Lawrence is an X factor. He is pretty good on the darn blitzes. El Toro is a really good ability to have. And so same thing with the inside stuff. So we really are going to have a hard time hitting the inside run. So that's why I want to try to limit the, the runs inside and we're going to try to pass with the short game. And then say Saquon Barkley, we really need to focus on him if we're going to limit this offense. It's week four of the National Football League, and we're watching the longtime star, Bobby Wagner. He was terrific defensively last week with 11 tackles. It's the Giants and the Hawks under the lights on Monday night. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight we finish off week four with a good Monday night matchup as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. Now, losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they come in 0-3 and, and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team, you start to feel a little bit snake bit. They need something good to happen right now so they know it's not just them. They think they have the makings of a good team. 
And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Now a two-time pro bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. They'll fake it. Now Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Off of play action. Here's Smith. Man open downfield. It's Metcalf. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. Geno now to throw. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Here's they need four yards on third down. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Charbonnet will score. Touchdown, Seattle. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Now Jones. Little out route here complete to Shepard. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Targeting the out route, and he completes this to Metcalf. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field. Throwing now is Geno. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. Myers' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Throwing Jones. And that's complete to Shepard. When you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. First down. On third down, Jones. That is caught. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Jones on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Campbell. It's now third and goal. Operating from the gun. Jones buying time to his. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put him on the carpet. And this will be a Seahawks first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Trying the left side with Walker. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. They're just cutting him to shreds. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time in a first down. 
Yeah, boy, the strength on display there. Dude, to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up sharp at their own 41-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari getting it there to bring him down. To the team, I think we'll see plenty of that as this season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Here as he's taken down. I think it does a little bit, but not by too much because you're right. You get the extra rush, you get a chance to heal up and kind of heal, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. Man to man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And it's caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Corby Parkinson, his first touchdown on the year. Looking to throw, Jones. And that one complete to Hodgins. Looking to throw, Jones. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's across midfield. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. Deal. Throwing again on second down. Jones delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. Touchdown! So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo, where it was the Bills who pick up the victory at home. Damian Harris, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, we head all the way out west to see what's happening with the L.A. Chargers. And things didn't go so well as it was the visiting Raiders who come in and grab the victory. Josh Jacobs, what a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Detroit Lions. Amon Ross St. Brown, over 200 yards receiving with two touchdown grabs. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Smith now to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. From the 38, Jones. They'll find Hodgins there complete. Back to throw, Jones. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Up the middle with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Back to throw, Smith. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Now it's Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The flash when he broke out of there, and it forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. 
That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A well-executed 22-yard game. Throwing now is Geno. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. touchdown. Love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Their defense chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Again, it's Barkley. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. A handoff, Barkley running left. All able to avoid him, and they get him down. But now the four takes it across the 40-yard line. But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports at the 44-yard line. They'll run it again with Barkley. Runs over it. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now Jones on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Up we go. Here's Jones, throwing on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds. Despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch it. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. James Robinson, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And strong running there as he's across midfield on first down. Again, it's Walker. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. On third down, here's Walker. And he's able to pick up the first down here. The position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. Myers' kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. The Smith's throw caught here by Metcalf. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Here's Jones. Pass complete to Robinson. Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Jones. They'll find Hodgins there completely. Better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession. And he is in as they have tied it right here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. For the crowd here at MetLife Stadium in full roar. Third down. And it is caught. They'll have the first down, and more than that, he takes it across for the touchdown. 
Now Smith. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. He'll look to throw. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. Man, what a game that was. That was a game that went back and forth. We finally got our first win of the season, um, which we're still last place in the division. The Cardinals actually lost, so we're really, in all reality, we're tied. 49ers are, should be 4-0 after this week. We're going to go into the bye week on the next video. We do have one new injury. This new injury is none other than Nuosu, who is out for four weeks. And that's kind of a big loss for our pass rush here. I think defense played really good. Defense allowed 14 points in the second half. But it was a really good game defensively. We won time of possession by a few minutes here. We outgained them on offense just barely. Their passing game got really hot after the first quarter. We had 124 rush yards on the ground. We held Saquon Barkley to 56 yards and that was 3.7 yards a carry ken walker had a pretty good game averaging 5.7 yards a carry daniel jones and james robinson had a pretty good touchdown on the ground zach charbonnet had a good touchdown as well metcalf had a pretty good game himself with seven receptions 147 yards and two touchdowns and he also got a, a two-point conversion which was pretty good bobby wagner also had a really good game with two tackles for loss 11 tackles here and unfortunately we didn't get any sacks we did get a pass deflection which was pretty good Devin weatherspoon got himself a pick six now that we are in week four we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our players this is where the development goes into play and we're gonna go a little bit in depth as far as that goes andre diggs is a really good player when it comes to the zone scheme and we're gonna go ahead and continue to develop his zone game we're going to continue to lock some people up we're going to get that man to man coverage eventually i want to start running more cover two cover one things of that nature some blitzes that way we can start getting to the opposing offense what we really want him to do uh he's very young i believe he's 21 years old with a hidden dev I'm going to go ahead and focus on the playmaker trait for him. Damian Lewis, our left guard, is actually pretty good. We're going to continue to develop the power. We're going to go ahead and continue with the agile. But we can go ahead and focus on the agile and hopefully get something good. Run block finesse plus three is pretty good. We can go ahead and focus on the running game. That's how we're going to control opposing offenses. And that's how we're going to get to being a top 10 defense. Michael Dixon, I really like his accuracy IRL. We're going to focus on his accuracy. Oh, they finally got his player likeness pretty good. Boy Mafe is another player that's pretty young. We're going to go ahead and focus on his... Um, honestly, we can move him to a left or right end. Um, but we're gonna we're just gonna do power rush everybody else we're just gonna auto upgrade don't really mind them they're mo mostly depth now we're gonna go ahead and take a dive into the talent tree i don't know why i said coaching tree earlier so we have 75 points to spend and i think what we really have to focus on i i want to focus on our uh, on our base scheme yeah we'll focus on dbs if we can get a stifling defense i think we can go places even though D no smith turns the ball over so much that is going to be it for this video um next week we are going to go ahead and hit our bye week and we're going to hit the Bengals, which is going to be a really good game and it's going to be a test hopefully we start building momentum after this one game that we won and hopefully we start hitting our stride i hope you guys like the video make sure you leave a like and we'll see you guys next time